Hey guys, thanks for joining me on an episode of Linux with Zach. So, today we are going to discuss Discord. Well, if you try to launch Discord, right now this is the perfect occasion. This has happened to me in a few different Linux distros, but sometimes you come across the times where it just doesn't launch, and no matter how many times you update your system from the command line, apt, dnf, pacman, uh, emerge in my case, no matter what you do, it tells you you need to download the update. So today I'm going to show you how to run that update after you download it, and you're essentially just installing a secondary instance of Discord. So in the case of this, I would just simply rmrf that directory after you build it. Once the uh, host distro you're on updates their repositories and you get that update. But what you do is you just click Linux tar.gz, we'll download it, and then when you open up a terminal, um, I already have that file here. I went ahead and moved it into my home directory. I believe by default all downloads will download directly to the download directory, but not in this case. Anyway, so now we have our discord.tar.gz in this case, so we have to unpack it. All we have to do is run the tar command, and then we'll feed it the xf flag, and then we'll give it the name of the file. There it is. And now that that file is unpacked, let's do a rm. Uh, let's get rid of that tar.gz file now, it's just wasting space. And now, in our home directory, you can see we have a new Discord directory, so let's cd into that directory. Now that we're here, let's just go ahead and see what's in there. So you can see this is it, right? Um, that's the one. So we have to execute that, and you'd run it just like a script. So dot forward slash, and then Discord. Oh, look, I hit a backslash, silly me. Control C will cancel that. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so there you have it, folks. We have just launched a secondary instance of Discord, or if you prefer, you could actually just delete the instance that you have from your main repository and maintain this independently. As in my experience, I would say that Discord is not one of the first things to receive updates on the host repository. Anyway guys, I hope you found this helpful. I'm Zach and I'll catch you next week. Thank you.